Welcome to our video on organizing your triggers in your Zendesk instance. Today, we'll cover what a trigger is, how they interact with each other, and why it's so important to routinely audit them as you scale and grow. Triggers are event-based business rules that you define that run immediately after a ticket is created or updated and automatically perform actions if specified conditions are met. Think of triggers as cause and effect statements. If a ticket meets a set of conditions, then an action is performed. For example, if Grace from Zendesk submits a ticket, then the ticket is routed to Vitor, a member of our VIP support group. There are a lot of reasons to create triggers, such as notifying customers when you're out of office or when their ticket has been received, escalating tickets, or even routing your priority customers into a specialized support group. Triggers are a great way to automate your processes so your team can focus more on assisting your customers rather than manually routing tickets, remembering to action certain things on certain tickets, or other administrative tasks. As you get more comfortable with your Zendesk account and scale with your help desk needs, you'll probably build out quite a couple of triggers to support your team. It's important to know that every time a ticket is created or updated, all of your triggers run in a cycle against that ticket in the order that they are listed. This means that a trigger will fire and update the ticket if its conditions are met during the cycle, which is the entire process of a ticket being checked against all of your triggers. If a trigger updates a ticket during the cycle, the cycle starts over. All of your triggers will run again, except any triggers that have already fired and updated the ticket. This means a ticket could loop through the trigger list several times before all of the triggers have either updated the ticket or have been skipped because conditions were not met. So a trigger might run or be checked several times, but it will never fire more than once in the same cycle. This is because the trigger is not checked again after it fires, and a trigger will not fire at all during the cycle if the conditions are not met. Because of all this, triggers can affect one another. A ticket update by one trigger might cause another trigger, where conditions were not previously met, to be true and fire. So the order of your trigger is very important, as an action in one trigger might change a ticket property that was changed by another. Per Zendesk guidance, the general trigger order should be set, assign, and notify. This is why it is so important to routinely audit your business rules. A clean set of triggers is essential to the success of any Zendesk account. It's important to know that some of your business rules can have overlapping conditions, which can unintentionally send tickets astray. To ensure that your triggers are working cohesively rather than competitively, we recommend routinely auditing your account. To help with this, we recommend to use sorting to your advantage. While triggers can be sorted by, by various factors, we recommend starting with sorting by 30-day usage to determine which triggers are underutilized and potentially not applicable to your team anymore. If a trigger shows a zero for usage, ask yourself if the trigger still applies to you and your team, if the conditions in the trigger are properly set up, and if it's worth having it take up space in your instance. You also have the option to deactivate a trigger rather than fully deleting it from your account. As an example, here's how my triggers are organized. I have them categorized in set, assign, and notify categories. This is so that each ticket goes through is effectively actioned on by the triggers in my instance. You can see that my demo instance isn't very active and you can see which triggers are being used and which ones are not. I can sort my triggers based on usage to see which triggers may need to be updated and which ones can be eliminated if they're not serving me or my team any further. Today, we've covered the basics of what a trigger is, what it can help you achieve, and the importance of an organized, routinely audited list of triggers. Organizing your triggers in Zendesk is so important to ensure cohesive automation, minimize conflicts, and ensure that your team is working as efficiently as possible. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.